Luke Kendall. I have no idea who you're talking about. Ah, uh, Luke Kendall, yeah. Mm. Not sure about that guy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Luke Kendall, seriously? Uh, really, Luke? Which, which Luke are you talking... Luke Kendall, yes, uh, I do know Luke Kendall. Um, my name is John Peacock. I'm the lead pastor of Mission Church, and I've had the privilege of getting to know Luke over the past six months. And many of you are probably watching this video because you're considering being a ministry partner of Luke and Rachel and really helping them in a tremendous way, sending them here to Chicago to be part of a brand new church plant called Mission Church. And some of you are probably wondering and asking the question, why should we invest in Luke and Rachel? And I want to just take a couple minutes to share some of our dream and a little bit of ways of how Luke and Rachel are going to make a huge impact here at Mission Church. Uh, the, the place that we are planting is in the suburbs of Chicago. And the area, we've called it the 10 because there's 10 towns that we feel very called by God to really invest in over the length and course of our lifetime. To plant as many churches as we can right in the 10. The 10, there's 262,000 people. Um, and so it's a pretty good sized area. And it's actually my hometown, the, the area that I was raised in. And what we are praying is that God would use us to really become a church for the neighborhood. That God would use us in tremendous ways to really help redefine what church is and what church could become. And as we have been thinking about this, as, we, as we've been praying about this, the three values that God has really been clear with us on, that we need to value three things specifically. And the first is reaching people. That we'd be a church that are reaching people that are far from God. Secondly, that we would be about restoring the neighborhood. And third, that we'd be about reproducing leaders and churches. And when we think about Luke and Rachel coming here to be part of our staff, it absolutely fires me up, specifically around the middle one that I mentioned, and that's restoring the neighborhood. God has gifted and burdened Luke in a tremendous way to use his gifts and influence to really help the church be the church. And as we think about this leadership residency, uh, what we are looking for that to be is really an opportunity for Luke to learn uh, the ins and outs of church leadership and of church planting. Secondly, for him to lead in a significant way. You know, we envision Luke playing big here at Mission Church where uh, God uses him, especially around this restoring effort to mobilize a church to really be a church for the neighborhood. So in addition to learning and leading, the, the last part is leaving. And that's the thing that we uh, dream about one day being able to send Luke and Rachel uh, to really start a church. And we believe that much in Luke and Rachel, that God will use them tremendously here. But a day will come down the road where he sends them to lead a church or be part of a church planting team in a significant way. So uh, as the lead pastor of Mission Church, I'm so thankful that you're considering supporting Luke and Rachel in a huge way. And my ask is that you would do it generously. Uh, they need it, and I can promise you that every dollar invested will translate into a life impacted, into a life served. And at the end of the day, what we're praying as a church is that through Luke and Rachel and all of our efforts uh, together, collectively, through the power of God, that we'll see thousands of people find and follow Christ, because that's what we're about here at Mission Church.